you guys welcome to this beautiful channel my name is queen sufi okay so for today's video we are going to be visiting or having a tour at the tangugama chimpanzee sanctuary just as how human beings deserve to have a place they call home that is how um, animals to deserve that privilege so therefore today we visited this place we are going to be having a tour around this place and then as the video goes along you are going to be learning a lot more about this place being said that please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and also comment down below positive one for that matter Man, and i'm your tour guide so takugama also was established in november 1995 and the work we do here is to rescue and rehabilitate orphan chimpanzees so it's important for you to know that this place is a zoo, it's a sanctuary. It's a protected place that guarantees all necessary conditions to protect animals. But for now, our concentration is on the chimpanzees because they are endangered species. And during the 60s and 70s, Sierra Leone used to have over 20,000 chimpanzees living in the wild. But that number drastically reduced. Takugama, with the government of Sierra Leone and other donor partners, they did the chimpanzee census in the country. And uh, after the census, they arrived at 5,500 chimpanzees that have left in the wild. So like if much is not done, they are going to extinction. And uh, that's why also on tour here, we have rules that we need to observe so that we can have a quiet and enjoyable tour. You are not allowed to interact with the chimps, like either trying to wave and clap to them, because most of the chimpanzees we have here, they are traumatized, they need to live with humans. So that's why if you try to do that, like waving and clapping to them, they might have to wrongly go for object against you. So for your safety, it's better you don't do it. And also you are free to take pictures and make videos of the chimps. You can also share it so people will know the work you are doing at Takugama. And also free to ask questions to go along the tour to make it more interactive. Okay, the uh, Takugama, the founder of Takugama is Mr. Bala Amarasikara. Um, he is originally from Sri Lanka, but he came in Sierra Leone as a young guy. He continued his education here, he went to university and eventually started sanctuary. But first, he used to have a chimp. He bought a chimp by the name of Bruno in the way going in the province in 1988 for $20. There he started getting more uh, motivation about chimpanzees. Then with that, he gets another one by the name of Julie, make it up to two. So with time, eventually, he started getting more chimp at home. Then he get inspiration by Dr. Jane Goodall. She's a famous um, primatologist in the world and uh, she has studied primate for 40 years. She visited Sierra Leone in 1992, that was the time he met with Mr. Bala, and she inspired him greatly to open the sanctuary. And eventually in 1995, the sanctuary was uh, open to the public. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah? Okay, so good afternoon and welcome. We're a bit late, so we started a tour already. I'm Suleiman, and on the tour, you are free to take pictures and make videos of the chimps. You can share them also for people to know the work we are doing here, and also free to ask questions as we go along the tour. So, the sanctuary here mainly depends on foreign donors, and these are some of the international organizations that help us to do our outreach programs. And uh, also, here we have corporate sponsors, you can see, likes of Radis in Blue. G Shakada, Capital Radio, and a few others. Well, like, um, for now, financially, not. We, um, this place was allocated to Takugama by the government, and Takugama itself is a government project, but like, we are not getting any financial support directly from the government. But the land of food, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the sanctuary also is divided into stages. Back of this painted wall is the first stage, which is a quarantine. Chimpanzees, based on studies, are the closest relative to us human. They are 98.6% genetically similar to us. Most of the diseases that can affect humans can be transferred to them. So that's why whenever we rescue them from human homes, we are not sure of their health. We first put them in a quarantine for health check, which lasts for 90 days. After they complete it, we have the nurse where we get them to create family. They are just like humans, you know, they live in a social and a complex group. 
here as we create family, from there we can pick our back of friends and integrate them to bigger enclosures. Like doing that also, we have some difficulties with the age and gender. It is more easier for us to integrate baby chimps and females, adults, especially the males, it's very more difficult. They fight a lot for dominancy, food and female. And also the quarantine and nursery normally we didn't take their visitors, is a restricted area. But like after the tour, if you want to know more about them and see, we have a platform that stands at 70 feet tall. If you're not afraid of fight, you can climb, then you see the babies are in the enclosure. And the building here is a surgical building where we do minor operations. We also have a resident vet and assistant. So, presently in the sanctuary, we have 117 chimpanzees. And all the chimpanzees here, they have names. Most of them, they got their name by the former pet owners. As we rescue them, we are not going to change their names because they know their names and they are used to it. So these are the ambassadors that represent all these 117 chimpanzees. This is the area we encourage visitors to be a chim guardian. And that's the way of adopting a chim by um, helping and supporting the sanctuary. Adoption monthly goes for five dollars, yearly goes for like 60. Because in the sanctuary we are taking care of one adult chim per year, costs around 1,590 dollars. Just imagine having 117 of them, it's a huge money to run this place. Tom up there is the oldest chimpanzee in the sanctuary. Tom is 44 years old. Yes. He arrived in the sanctuary, he was already an adult. And he tried so hard to integrate Tom with the other group of On the 24th April 2006, we had a great escape. We had 31 chimpanzees escaping in the sanctuary. Yeah. And it was masterminded by a chim named Jido. He was observing how the care staff open and close the slide door. And one day he went for a big rock, he did the slide, 31 of them escaped. He go into the wild. After they escaped, fortunately for Takugama 21, they turned back for themselves. They went and tasted life in the wild. They evaluated between Takugama and the wild. 21 decided that Takugama is more safe for them, so they have to come back. They came by themselves. Six were later on rescued. Four, they are still at large. And that is Bruno, Sabi, Charlie, and Toko. Bruno by there was the leader, and he was the oldest among them. This chim Bruno is an inspirational chim. It's because of that Bruno we have this place called Takugama today. We found out director bought Bruno in 1988 for $20. Later, with another 17, he killed up to 8, they started sanctuary in 1995. So since the escape, they have set camera traps right on the national protected areas. They see all the wild chimpanzees, but Bruno and the three others, no one ever saw them on camera up to now. So we don't know if they are still alive or passed away. That's just a case of probability. Because in the wild, they will live between 45 to 50. Bruno, the oldest, was just 21 years old. And it has been like 17, 18 years ago since the escape happened. If they are not being killed by hunters or be attacked by other wild chimpanzees, they might be still alive. So we go and see them in their den. So that's why you don't see them in an open place so that they don't escape? No, not for that. It happens, these are like um, um, Jido, because he was observing how the care staff open and close the slide door. But even the ones that are in the forest they are, we get them out, like these ones. They stay here during the day, but for now we are doing maintenance, so we get them in around 1 o'clock. If you come around 10.30 to do the monitor, you can see all the enclosures. Where we can go straight to the forest enclosure, you see all our chimpanzees, where they can climb trees and build nests. But like these ones, we get them in at around 1 o'clock. Yeah. Bye! Make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying this video, and like as well. <laughs> You guys wow. have to like this video. It's a must. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know that every day. So here we have the facial expressions. And with oh. this you can tell if the chimp is happy or not. <laughs> Open mouth mm -hmm. laugh, it's play times. It says that the chimp is happy. You can see the lower lip of the beat. You see the lower teeth. The hoot means happy. And the angry face, you can see both upper and the lower teeth. Oh. Face of fear, you can see the two canine teeth. Naturally, chimpanzees are aggressive, they fight one another. But the most unique thing about them, after fighting in the group, within five to 10 minutes, they easily reconcile and make peace. They don't hold grudges, and also they kiss. You know, they have big mouth, it happens to kiss well. <laughs> so does they hug. You know, after they fight, you see them hugging themselves, they move on. And the kids, they are not a threat. They get away with almost everything they want within the group. An angry adult chim is as strong as five men, Five strong men, not even lazy like me talking to me. You know this guy fighting wrestling. You know, maybe five of them might stand around the chain. These are the easy to keep telling people to stop punching them and bringing them in their homes. 
If we are not happy living there, chimpanzees are made for life in the wild. You know, when they are babies, you see them cute and you might have a desire to keep them as pets. But as they grow older, they become more aggressive. And you can see the threat of face habitat loss, poaching, exploitation, disease. For the exploitation, these are the easy. If you go to Europe, Asia, America, you see their chimpanzees. But their origin home is in Africa. In even Africa, you can only find them in 25 countries. And most of this country already started losing chimpanzees. We don't want this to happen to Sierra Leone because chimpanzees are hated to Sierra Leone and they are now national animals. So we need to keep them, we don't want them to go to extinction. That is what Africa is here. So these are the dangers they stay at night. And these are Rasta. The Rasta is about four years old. And that's someone. These are the two youngest in this group. They were born, they are to contest to failure. Someone is about three and a half years. While Rasta is about four and a half. <laughs> but like these six then they are a lot of good ones then. Apart from Rasta and someone, all the other babies are orphans. Mm. So, and we integrate them, them from, um, we take them from the nursery to add them up Daddy. in this group. Yeah, this one, just like human, the hand. This one, yeah. it's like human. Yeah? <laughs> Good night, you guys. You need to subscribe. Travel club, what one you get them in? So I'm so sorry about that. We are doing some maintenance, but like maybe at the end of this month, mm. it will be done. Then wherever you come now, you can see all of them, even at around four or two thirty, so they'll be out. And Can you come back with your same ticket? Sorry? Same ticket. Can you come back in later on this evening? Sorry, I will You have to pay again to come in later. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we have ecology. If you stay overnight in Okay, so we are going to end the tour here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And I want to say thank you very much for visiting Takurama. 
I also want to inform you that this is not a lot to do here. You also do hikes. Maybe you want to walk around the forest, climb mountains, and get a beautiful view. We also do yoga, we do bird watching and breakfast. And we have our beautiful ecologies, accommodation facility. Maybe you want to sleep here for a night or two. The choice is all yours. When you return back to the inception, you can make a short comment and just a name in the book. That's the way of evaluating our work at Africa now. And the tower, if you're not afraid of fight, you can climb. You view the national park and also see the babies in an enclosure. So thank you very much for coming again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What is the cost of the hiking? And do you have like... Hiking stones, yeah. Both national and international. Do you have special days for them? No, every day you come, we are open 24, um, 20, uh, 24 hours a day. Sorry. Um, seven days a week also. You come, we work on Sundays. You are free to come. But the last hike starts at 2. So if you come after 2, no hike again until next day. Mm -hmm. Not really. The fight, the, the, the fight for it. So how do you know that it's the leader? Well, mm -hmm. we have a sound we call it going team. We do it only the leader. Mm -hmm. That's a sign of recognition. And this is one of the mother of the baby. That's moose. They are funny stones. Yeah. So here we feed them five to six times a day. We give them fruits, vegetables, leaves and nuts. That one that's jumping over there is a male? No, she's a female. The females are the one with the pinkish bulb. Oh, okay. Like this one, that's here, she's a female. The one sitting in the ground now, she's a male. The one on the tire again, she's a female. So out of the only other one, how many? How many chimpanzees do you have? I'm doing 17. How many are you? Well, I cannot tell that. You know, I don't have time to like to check all who is. <laughs> even for this group, I don't you know. You have it already on that side? No, no. Oh. Yeah, if, if you like, like, you have the vet, she can tell, but for me, I don't know. Oh, okay. You have to sign up for the report. <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, for Takagama, they do a report every three months, uh, okay. and then it, it tells you how many chimpanzees are here, okay. how many are overweight, how many are underweight. It tells you so many things about what they do. Thank you. You just keep following our website, like www.takagama.com. You get a lot of information from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said we should not worry about them, they will close through. Yeah. And then you said in the evening you will take them out. You get them so that, in there then, yeah. So they are used to the people already around here? Well, no. Or how do you do it? Well, normally we give them the last meal when they get to the den. So that's the way of us like getting them in easily. Because all the chimps here, they know that now, the last meal they have to get it if they go into the den. <laughs> and chimps love food. So oh. that's the way we treat them, so that they can easily go to the den. What type of food do you usually give to them? Mm. Do they have they, like special dish just for chimpanzees? No, they eat the same food that humans eat. We give them fruit like, um, you know, um, banana, orange, watermelon, give them vegetables. <laughs> give them I'll leaves. take a clear <laughs> I'm sure the chimps and snakes do not go together, right? They are not friends. No, they are not and friends. The place is like bushy everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So that's... how do you protect the chimps from snakes around here? Well, even the chimps, they can protect themselves from the snakes, not us. 
You know how to kill snake. You know when you see snakes around, you know how to kill it. Sometimes they find stones. Sometimes they look around for sticks to kill a snake. Yeah, they they can protect themselves even without human from snake. Have you ever um, encountered we are in a very big snake coming? Well, yeah, we have a lot of big snakes. Even like, I think two weeks ago, there was a big snake coming to this enclosure. That was on Facebook. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I, I don't yeah, have yeah. a picture of that. It's good. Mm -hmm. well, start doing yeah. some sounds, you know. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, they have a yeah, good eyesight. Mm. Okay, this is me. Okay, the one that came in. Mm. Is it dead already? No, it's alive. I was trying to come to this enclosure but like these guys they have a good eyesight so like they see something from a far distance so we have two cages in the enclosure basically before we release them in the morning the caregivers go into the enclosure they open the cage they hide some food stuff there when they release them in the morning they find food in the cage they will try to pull out the food with their fingers and if they see it's not working they will look around for sticks to fish out the food it's also part of their skills they need to learn as we move into the forest area, they will start implementing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is part of their foraging skills. Sometimes in the forest, they may come across um, termite mud. They will look around for sticks to fish out the termite in there. Yeah. Just like to their food, the block will come in. How do you do uh, it? Even for the food, then I say thanks. He's greedy. He's not even doing that. He's not even doing that. He's not even no, what's the thing as you? Really, 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 and he's 16 years old. All the rest are below that age. Motors is 13. So this is what we're going to see. And uh, here we have like um, 23 teams. So as we complete here we get them to this enclosure. And this is four time closure there, the next is the land from here. And here we feed them less four times so that they can have more time to store it for themselves. 
And uh, for this group, we don't have a clear leader. Zakia used to be the dominant male, but he got sick and died. Since Zak passed away, we have these four guys who are now fighting for leadership in this group. Bingo and AJ, they are best of friends, they get along. Chippy and Igloo also, they are best of friends, they can easily get along. But if we release four of them all together, they will fight for the rest of the game. So what we presently do, we interchange days for them. So they, Chippy and AJ, yeah, sorry, Bingo and AJ are out. Chippy and Igloo will spend him for like two or three days. And after that, we get them out to go and take the other guys in. This is how we keep doing. Also here, we have two contraception that happens here. Somebody here, she's a female team, she gave back to this baby. Someone. And Rega also gave back to Rasta. So these two babies are going to this enclosure. Here also, this is a place where we have the great escape. Maybe some of you might have heard the story about Bruno. Mm -hmm. The escape. This was the enclosure where it happened. On the 24th, April 2006, we had a great escape. We had 31 chimpanzees escaping the sanctuary. Yeah. And it was masterminded by a chain named Jido. He was observing how the care staff open and close the slide door. And one day, hey guys, this is the towers the floor. Do you enjoy this? And um, comment down whether it was interesting or not. And um, give that any positive comments about Sterling. Also, comment that where you are watching from, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Please like, subscribe, and share.